So hi everyone, I'm Jim Beguadia, co-founder at Nirmata and also a Kiverno maintainer. And today I'm gonna tell you about five policies that I think you should be running in your cluster. So first off, a little bit about Kiverno. So Kiverno is a policy as code solution which started out being Kubernetes native but has since expanded to outside of Kubernetes as well. So you can apply Kiverno policies in your pipelines on any JSON payload. And Kiverno can uh, validate, but also mutate, generate, as well as clean up resources. Kiverno has also built in integrations into image verification, which lets you do things like verify S-bombs, which one of the previous speakers spoke about, or even check for how your container images are built to verify that they were done according to your standards. Kiverno also has integrated test tools. Chainsaw is a sub-project we recently announced which can be used for end-to-end -end testing for any Kubernetes controller. Um, and with Kiverno um, you know, like, uh, integrations, you can even do now things like there's a new Envoy proxy uh, integration to let you verify authorization for Istio and other service meshes. All right, so with that, let's dive into the five policy types. First off, we all know pods are the basic unit of execution within Kubernetes, so it's extremely important to verify pod security. One thing which you know, some of you folks may not know about is with every release, Kubernetes has an integrated pod security library. So with about 20 lines of YAML, you can use a Kiverno policy to declaratively either audit and verify or even enforce pod security policies, both in your pipelines as well as in your clusters. This comes with many other benefits in addition to what you get with pod security admission. Like first off, you get fine-grained enforcement, CLI, test tools, reporting, all of that built in. The second policy type I wanna talk about is just-in-time provisioning for critical resources such as roles, role bindings, permissions. This is also an extremely powerful use case which is very widely used. So what this allows you to do is anytime there's a namespace created or any other workload deployed, you can choose the triggers in your policy. Kiverno can generate new resources on the fly for you. So this acts like a you know, controller which runs inside of your cluster and even for air gap clusters or just for real time provisioning can do many advanced use cases. One commonly used name, uh, use case is namespaces as a service. So if you want to provide self-service namespaces to your developers, Kiverno is really good at uh, doing things like that. The third policy I want to talk about is verifying images. So Kiverno integrates both with six door cosine as well as with Notary. Notary is a CNCF project. Sigstore is part of OpenSSF, so both part of Linux Foundation. So both these projects allow you to sign your images, and what Kiverno can do is verify these image signatures, but also verify attestations, which are in in toto format, and these can be verified within at admission controls, also for background scanning. So if you want to do things like write a policy and find you know, JVM versions in your cluster through SBOMs, you can do those type of operations with Kiverno. So very powerful set of use cases here again. The fourth policy I want to mention is auto-tuning resources on the fly. And this is also super interesting because it combines some of the generate capabilities with validation and perhaps even mutation based on how you want to adjust this for your cluster. So Kiverno can integrate with the native VPA recommender and it can also generate VPA resources based on the generate capability. So what you can do is for your workloads, you can automatically generate VPAs and put them in recommendation mode. And then if you choose, if it's a dev test cluster, for example, you might choose to automatically mutate resources which are overused. If it's a production cluster, maybe you, can, you want to audit and report and inform you know, the developers or the app team about this overuse. So definitely check out the case study from Adidas on you know, how they use this within their clusters. And you know, they saw about 50% cost savings just in dev test, and now they're also rolling this out to other clusters. Finally, with Kiverno, you can also delete or clean up resources. So through policy-based automation, what you can do is set TTLs. 
So you can uh, have things like leases for different namespaces, leases for different resources within your clusters, any expensive resources, um, and that allows you to clean up these resources over time. If you need more complex conditions, you can also do this easily with Kiverno. So just to quickly recap, five different policy types we saw, and this is just a quick overview. There's a lot more detail to the project, but definitely you know, check out the pod security capabilities, just-in-time provisioning, image verification, uh, auto-tuning of resource allocations, as well as cleaning up or deleting resources in your clusters. So we are going to be at the project pavilion, so come say hello over there, and there's plenty of other sessions which are also going to feature Kiverno. So hope to see you during the conference. Thanks, everyone. Thank you.